Here is a scarce uh, 18th century set. Uh, it is the Bible, actually. It's a German Bible. Uh, it's 12 volumes bound in 11. Uh, they're all in this very attractive uh, calf with uh, red um, Morocco gilt spine labels that are ornamented, marble boards, uh, speckled edges here like so. Uh, it's fascinating. It's com uh, published 1786 to 1800, and it's complete with the Apocrypha. And if we look here, the uh, title page of the first volume has this wonderful large woodcut uh, of an angel. Uh, it's interesting because uh, this owner, uh, and a very early owner in 1844, has lightly written their name, and the price that they paid for the set in 1844, right here, $14. It's fascinating. Uh, published here, Lemgo, 1786. Here we can see the typography, nice large uh, woodcut. Here's another splendid woodcut, like so. The first book, here we are, another woodcut. And so this is how the first volume looks. Uh, this first volume, as typical on large sets of this type and era, uh, that's nice, um, the front board here, uh, the joint is completely split, and this front cover is now uh, loose and held uh, still quite firmly by the original binding cords. Aside from that first front cover, the rest of the set, the leather remains supple, and all the books are firm, uh, tight, and sound. Here's the second volume, 1788, and we see here just absolutely uh, clean, tight, and sound throughout. Again, more of these large woodcut ornaments. And <clears throat> there's, on some of the volumes, this tiny little bit of leather chipping at the heads of the spines, uh, but it has this very sort of nice, unique look to the leather uh, that is um, very much of a, uh, of a European binding style and leather used at this time. Uh, there we see again, large woodcut, a large woodcut there. And so I will now just take each book out to show how it survives. So you, you can see, look at that woodcut, that's great. 1792 is that one. And we take this one here. Beautiful set, quite scarce. Uh, all multi-volume sets uh, of the 18th century like this that remain together, sound, clean, uh, and complete are uncommon. They're just, it's a set like this would have been rather expensive in its day. All multi-volume sets of this era were. Same thing today. If you buy a multi-volume set of just about any topic, it's rather expensive. A lot of work went into binding this, printing this, all from movable type. That's interesting. There's a portrait of the uh, author of the commentary in here, Hesel. Yes, this is very interesting. Someone has just tucked this portrait uh, in, because we see right here his name, Wilhelm Friedrich Hesel, and that's him right there. It's a portrait engraving that someone tucked into the set long ago. Okay. There we are. That's a beautiful set. are nice. This marbling is very nice. Okay. This one is 1791. This person was very persistent in their excellent writing their little name right there with what they paid in each, each volume on the title page. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very curious uh, thing to do, but it's totally non-offensive. It's so light. It's so early. It's just... For me, that type of thing just makes the set more interesting. <clears throat> and this set is now available online from me, Brian DeMambro.